your speech, number? Speech name is the joy of being new and the responsibility of being old. And we know who you're evaluating? Uh, Mr. Goldhorn, this is speech six, I believe. All right. Do I be the responsibility of being old? Is there? Uh, no. So the joy of being new and the responsibility of being old. There's a lot that you learn your first year, your first year here at Citadel. And in that year, you're going to experience times where you just have to laugh. You just have to bust out laughing whenever you have the chance, obviously not part of your classes. And there's a certain joy to this learning because it's so funny. But as you progress in years, you realize that you have a responsibility for people below you. You realize that people are looking up to you and saying, how do I get to be like that individual? And it's a lot less funny when you mess up when you're responsible for someone. So I'm going to tell you about my three experiences on matriculation day. My experience not year, my experience sophomore year, and my experience this year. Not year, let's start with that. So I came about a month early to the Citadel Success Insti or Institute, right? Who else has done that before? The vast majority of us, right? And it helped a lot. You learned a lot about the school before you got here. You got in shape. You were able to meet people that were going to be at the same school and had the same values that you had. But at the same time, I learned things a little too advanced for yourself. So, a trick relation they might not hear. The cadre walks in. They stand, they're standing there online. They're, all their hats are down. They look up and they say, Cadre, break. And that instant, I learned how to break at CSI. And for whatever reason, my shin just racked up in a little bit whenever they, they broke on us. And they said, Turner, why are you bracing? We haven't even taught you that yet. Did you go to CSI? <laughs> so that was basically strike one, the very first time my cadre met me. But as time went on, they realized I had a certain affinity to learn. And also an affinity to go against our, my, any adversity I came, I came to. So that was my inaugural matriculation day. And as the year went on, I realized I met people that had the same values as me, people that I could laugh with, people that I could share stories with, stories we still remember today. I'm sure all of you in this room have already made memories with your classmates that years from now you'll come back and say, wasn't this funny? So my sophomore year matriculation day, I was on the other side of that. I was a cadre corporal walking in. And a funny story from that was before we walked in, I don't know why someone did this, but they said two claps and a Ric Flair, and everyone went, Woo! The entire cadre for Double Company. And that was funny. And I, I enjoyed that. There was, there was a certain thrill to being, uh, so I was serving. So we have the, the four tenths follow, serve, lead, command. That was my serving year. And I enjoyed that because I had the ability to change the lives of the people who had just arrived. I had the ability to teach other people. And this gave me a greater responsibility than only for myself. And every time I came down the line and I felt like I was doing less than the best that I could do, the less, less than the 100% the that I could give, I felt that I, that I was letting my swords down, my <coughs> squad of knobs down. And Mr. Barber, who I'm not sure is in here, he's in the other room, was actually in my squad. And I have the great, the great uh, pride that he is now our regular clerk for the semester. And I feel like my positive influence on him has led him to be the regular clerk. So now when you come back next year, think about that. And think, I want to be the best example that I can set for these knobs that are here now. Now, my junior year, which was this year, I had something totally different. I'm a talent recruiting NCO, so I had the job of sitting at the table in uniform, in full uniform, with my sword, with a member of the Citadel admission staff. Let's just put it this way. You could tell who went to CSI and who didn't. By the expression on their faces when they saw me sitting there in uniform, stern-faced, as soon as I walked to that gate. 
I was the very first person in uniform the mature, that class of 20 saw for first battalion. Did anyone here class of 20 first battalion? How do y'all remember me when y'all walked in? I'm guessing probably not. Yeah. <laughs> so, I put it this way. As, as soon as you walk through that gate, when you're a knob, your brain will leave right there. Because <laughs> there are people talking to their parents, they were going about their day, they could tell they're kind of nervous. And as soon as they turned and looked through that gate and saw me, their expression went from, to. <laughs> so there's a certain responsibility as well for me now, being battalion recruiting NCO, that I didn't have last year. And that's that I'm in charge of upper class now, not knobs. Now knobs probably know this, but maybe some upper class <coughs> Knobs are a hell of a lot easier to lead than upper classmen. Because knobs know they have to do it. Upper classmen know when they have to do it. They have, they have found the ways to get through the, the holes and get out of something. And that's probably the hardest thing about my junior year, is that I have to find out a way to motivate people to get them to do their job. John F. Kennedy once said, leadership and learning are indispensable of one another. And I want to leave you with this. Wherever you go, whatever you do, make sure you teach the person to you. Make sure they're ready to assume your position when you aren't there. Make sure they're ready to take on your responsibility for your battalion or whatever organization you're a part of.